Greetings everyone. You're watching the channel Aviation Obsession. Let's dive into the fascinating world of aircraft component transportation. Both Boeing and Airbus have unique ways of bringing together components for their airplanes. Airbus, originating from European cooperation, distributes construction across various countries. On the other hand, Boeing gathers parts from different locations, including Italy and Japan, for assembly in the United States. To expedite the process, both manufacturers have created their own specialized transport aircraft. So, in this video, we'll talk about Boeing's Dreamlifter vs Airbus Beluga XL. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for future uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a closer look at Boeing's Dreamlifter, the ultimate cargo carrier for aircraft components. Originally developed to support the construction of the 787 Dreamliner, the Dreamlifter, also known as the Large Cargo Freighter or LCF, took flight in 2006. To transport 787 parts from Italy, Japan, and across the United States, traditional land and sea transportation just wouldn't cut it. So, Boeing modified the 747-400 airframe, keeping the same wingspan but giving it a distinct appearance with a bulging fuselage. They also extended the fuselage with an additional conical section, stretching it to about 235 feet. And let's not forget the heightened tail, which helps control this unique aircraft. Instead of building brand new aircraft, Boeing took a clever approach by converting four 747-400 passenger planes for their Dreamliner fleet. These planes were sourced from Air China, Malaysia Airlines, and China Airlines. The transformation was done in Taiwan by Evergreen Aviation Technologies Corporation. The first Dreamlifter was completed in 2006 and started flying in 2007. The fourth one joined the fleet in 2010. Initially, these planes were operated by Evergreen International Airlines in Seattle, but in 2010, Atlas Air took over, Evergreen stopped operating in 2013. It was a creative way to repurpose existing aircraft for the important task of transporting crucial components. The Dreamlifter and Beluga have distinct differences when it comes to cargo access. The Beluga features a front nose door located above the cockpit, resembling the 747's door, allowing full fuselage access. On the other hand, the Dreamlifter took a unique approach with a swing tail door, which was a first for Boeing's commercial aircraft. This posed challenges in ensuring the door remained secure and properly transmitted the load between the fuselage and tail. The solution involved a hydraulically controlled door with a specialized 21-bolt locking system. To accommodate this door, the APU was removed, and engine start now relies on external support. When it comes to loading, the Dreamlifter utilizes a remarkable device called a DBL, created by the French company TLD. This 36-foot-long device holds the Guinness World Record for being the longest aircraft loader in the world. It's quite a sight to see in action. Airbus introduced the Beluga XL in 2020 to meet the specific requirement of transporting A350 components. Its main purpose is to carry both A350 wings, unlike its predecessor, the Beluga, which could only transport one wing. Similar to the Dreamlifter, the Beluga XL operates on a limited route network. It serves locations such as Broughton in the UK, where wings are manufactured, as well as other sites in France, Germany, Spain, and China. In August 2020, Hetafe, Spain, was added to its route network. It's fascinating to see how these specialized cargo aircraft are tailored to meet the unique needs of the aerospace industry. The Beluga XL, known for its cheerful, whale-like appearance, is based on a modified A330-200 airframe. It incorporates various modifications, such as the reinforced floor structure from the A330-200 freighter and a combination of designs from the A330-200 and-300 for the main fuselage. While the wingspan remains the same, the tail is larger, and ventral fins have been added. Loading is done through an upward opening hinged cargo door at the front, while the A330 cockpit is positioned lower to allow the door to open without affecting electronic and flight control systems. This improvement addresses the turnaround time issues faced by the earlier Super Guppy aircraft. Airbus plans to have a larger fleet of Beluga XLs, with six expected to be in service by 2024. The first aircraft was delivered in January 2020, followed by the third in late October 2020. These remarkable aircraft play a vital role in transporting not only A350 parts but also various other cargo across Europe. Airbus has a longer history of fuselage transporters compared to Boeing. It all started back in 1972 with the introduction of the Super Guppy, a fleet of modified Boeing Stratocruisers. These unique aircraft were used to transport parts for Airbus' first aircraft, the A300. 
As Airbus expanded its operations across multiple countries, the need for larger transporters arose. This led to the development of the Beluga in 1995, based on the A300-600 airframe with an enlarged cargo fuselage. Five Beluga aircraft were put into service between 1995 and 1999. In 2020, Airbus introduced the Beluga XL, taking the transporter's capabilities to new heights. It's worth noting that one Super Guppy aircraft still serves NASA's needs today. Let's take a closer look at the similarities and differences between these two fascinating aircraft. Both the Boeing and Airbus transporters were designed to meet the specific needs of transporting aircraft components and to expedite production. While Airbus has a longer history of using transporters, thanks to its construction operations across various European locations since the 1970s, both manufacturers have recognized the advantages of utilizing existing airframe designs. However, when it comes to cargo access, they have taken different approaches, resulting in unique engineering solutions and specialized development. Let's talk about size and weight, because in the world of freighters, it definitely matters. While the primary focus of these transporters is to meet specific transportation requirements, we can't ignore the fact that one has to be bigger than the other. When it comes to volume, the Beluga XL takes the crown with a whopping 2,209 cubic meters of fuselage space. The Dreamlifter follows closely behind with 1,840 cubic meters, and the Beluga trails with 1,500 cubic meters. But hey, size isn't everything. In terms of body length, the Dreamlifter stretches ahead with a total length of 235.6 feet, while the Beluga XL measures 207 feet. However, let's not forget the heavyweight champions. The Dreamlifter takes the lead in payload capacity, boasting a maximum payload of 250,000 pounds. The Beluga XL carries a maximum payload of 111,300 pounds. And we can't overlook the Antonov AN-225, a massive transporter that was capable of carrying a jaw-dropping payload of around 550,000 pounds. Let's talk about the ups and downs these giants have faced in recent times. Just like other aircraft types, the Dreamlifter and Beluga have felt the impact of the global slowdown in 2020 and 2021. Production slowdowns naturally result in a decrease in their utilization. But hey, they've shown resilience. The Dreamlifter managed to hold up slightly better, experiencing about a 40% drop in demand, while the Beluga saw around a 50% decrease. It's worth noting that these incredible planes haven't just been transporting Boeing and Airbus components during these challenging times. They've found new roles, like the Dreamlifter being used for medical transport missions and delivering essential PPE supplies. They're truly versatile machines. Have you had any experiences with the Dreamlifter or Beluga? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and remember to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or a certain topic to discuss for the next video.